it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my kitchen. Alright y'all, I love Hocus Pocus ever since it came out back in the 90s when I was in high school. Um, and part 2 comes out this Friday, September 30th. So I am so excited to watch it. We're going to watch it as a family and we're going to have a bunch of like food and like desserts and like drinks. I just really want to do it up and make it special for us and just really fun. So I thought I would go ahead today and like share some of the ideas that I have and kind of like just give you a little inspiration for you or like your family, if you're gonna watch it with your friends or if you're just gonna sit back and relax and watch Hocus Pocus part two. But I ran to, I went to Dollar Tree and Walmart. I got all kinds of stuff. I got, <laughs> I got a little bit of everything back here to make, you know, just to make some fun stuff for Friday. Um. Now, let me just say, if this is the first time you've ever watched me, I am not like a cooking, baking channel at all. Um, I do like crafting and shopping and decorating, but I love to do like little fun videos like this. So, um, also, really quick, this shirt that I have on, every time I wear this shirt, people ask where it's from. This is from Etsy. I am um, go on Etsy, type in Hocus Pocus, and there are so many like sellers and designs on there. They're amazing. So I bought this back in 2018, so I don't remember who I bought it from. Like I said, check out Etsy. All right, so we were just gonna have fun with this video. So let's start like with maybe like some of the desserts because I also have like a couple baking things. All right, I'm gonna adjust the camera and everything, but I'm just gonna use some parchment paper. These are from Dollar Tree. It's these little like pop-up sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and like line my counter real quick. Okay, I've got parchment paper laid out. I've got some cookies from Dollar Tree. I've got some Hershey Kisses. All right, some Hershey Kisses. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. All right, I'm gonna take these little like striped cookies and I'm gonna put them upside down. All right, then you can do as many as you want. I'm just gonna do a few. I also, I grabbed this green frosting from Walmart and it came with sprinkles and eyeballs. Look how cool that is for like two dollars. So I'm gonna try using this green. Ooh, look at that color. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna mix this around really well. And I'm gonna put it on the bottom of this little Hershey Kiss because I want a little color. Let's see what this looks like. All right, stick it right in the center of that hat and smoosh it down. And then look, you got the green. Okay, I really like that for my witch hat. How cute is that? All right, so just take a little Hershey Kiss, put your frosting or whatever that you're gonna use, and then just take your cookie, put it right down there in the center, and just press it down. And it just look, an adorable little witch hat. And this is something that'd be really fun if you have little ones or little grandkids or something to do together. All right, so our last little cookie right here. Just sit that down right in the center and that green comes out. And then look, look how adorable that is right there. I love it, so easy. All right, so we have our little witch hats. Now, we're gonna take some pretzel sticks and some Reese cups. All right, so once you get your little Reese cups opened up, get some pretzel sticks out. Now turn your little Reese cups upside down, just like that. So I'm gonna turn them all over upside down. And now I'm gonna take the little pretzel sticks and I'm gonna push it through the top, like right in the center. And look. It looks like a little witch's broom. Look how adorable that is right there. And look, so now you have a witch's hat and a witch's broom. I love it. Y'all, this stuff right here is so fun and easy. Okay, like I said, just take your pretzel stick and just stick it right in the center of your little Reese cup. Now don't press too hard because my little Reese cup kind of wanted like to bust open. So it's kind of twisted in there. 
Seriously, look how cute and easy and quick that was right there. All right, our next thing. All right, my next idea, I've got some Swiss cake rolls, um, some little candy eyeballs, and I've got these dark like sprinkles. Um, these two right here from Dollar Tree, and then this you can get anywhere. All right, so you get six packages of a two pack. So you get 12 Swiss cake rolls in total. So if you're having like a big party, you get 12 of these, or you get 12 total. So I went ahead and opened up just two packages. So I've got four sitting here. I also went ahead and opened up my little eyeballs. But remember, if you buy this frosting, it comes with eyeballs. So there's a really good way to save some money. Get this right here. All right. All right. And I'm just gonna put these down into a little bow. Okay. I just poured some down in there. All right, my thought is I'm gonna take some of this green icing and I'm gonna try to like coat a big chunk of it, like the top of it. I'm gonna kinda just go around, make sure I get the top of it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just go all the way around it. <laughs> all right, looking something like that. I'm gonna dip it down in this chocolate sprinkles to look like hair. So I'm just gonna take this, dip it straight down in there, maybe kind of roll it around a little bit. <laughs> Can you see that? Now I'm gonna take the little eyeballs I'm gonna leave this, oh, actually I'm gonna hold that up for a minute. I'm gonna take my little eyeballs and I'm just gonna place them right on here. Look, just like that. Now I'm gonna take this black icing from Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, this was so watery when I first opened it up. I had to shake it really good and I had to do like a, um, a bunch of like practice lines. So if you do happen to buy this from Dollar Tree, which I don't really recommend this because it's I don't really like it, but shake it really good and then just take like a napkin and just like squirt you out some. But we are gonna make Billy Butcherson. <laughs> so this is Billy. So I'm gonna take this and do like you know how this little mouth is sewn shut. So I'm just gonna do like a line and then some little like. Like little stitching. Some little lines look like these little stitches. And look how cute that is right there for Billy Butcherson. <laughs> I love it. And it also, you can use this for like a Frankenstein. But look, for Billy Butcherson. All right, I'm gonna lay that down. A couple little Billy Butchersons. I love them. All right, so I made some brownies last night. Just a basic box of brownies. I followed the instructions, just baked them, and then I, like, I cut them out. And I try to cut them like, to like bigger pieces so we can make some spell books. All right, I think I'm gonna try like the bigger eyeballs from Dollar Tree. Um, but like I said, you could use, you could use the ones that come with the frosting or if you have the smaller ones. But since I have these larger ones, I wanna try these. All right, even though I don't like this icing, it's all I have. So I'm gonna try to attach my eyeball like it's a book. Okay, so I'm gonna put some like right over here, like on the side. Just like that, I'm gonna stick my eyeball down in it. <laughs> and I'm gonna do like a little stitching. I'm gonna do like a little, like a little zigzag over on the side, something like that. I'm gonna kind of come down. I'm gonna do little like stitches. Um, maybe kind of go up a little bit. Once again, do a couple little stitches. <laughs> Look how cute! You know, it does not have to be perfect, but you get the like the idea that it's a spell book. You know, like the Hocus Pocus spell book. Look how cute. All right, once again, I'm just gonna put some icing right over here on the side so I can stick my eyeball in it. 
And then I'm gonna do like a little zigzag over here, like on the side of the book. And then I'm just gonna kinda go up towards the side over here and just do some little zigzags for like stitches. Maybe down here too, kind of go up and over. Okay. And they don't have to be like exactly like each other either. Right? Seriously, look how cute that is right there. All right, y'all, our next thing, I grew up on pigs in a blanket. <laughs> so if you don't know what pigs in a blanket is, it is hot dogs and crescent rows. And it's actually, it's really good. And like I said, I grew up on it. My husband grew up on this stuff. Um, and it's something that my mom always made. So in the first Hocus Pocus, she needs a dead man's toe. So I thought, how cute would it be to make some dead men's toes using hot dogs and crescent rows? So thank you, mom, like for the inspiration. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> and I know some people will not eat hot dogs. I have a brother-in-law who will not eat a hot dog for nothing. <laughs> but they're actually here really good. But, but I just thought this is like a fun, cute little thing to do. Just take your hot dogs and just cut them in half. Because like I said, they're supposed to be toes. Alright. I just took four for I just took four for right now. I cut those in half, so now I have eight little hot dogs. So you can also buy the little smokies and use those if you don't want to use like a hot dog. But so now, Crescent Rose, and this is Walmart brand. What you're gonna do is make sure you pay attention to the instructions on the back. Like this brand is preheat to 375 or 350 for a dark or nonstick baking sheet, which is what I'm using, um, and then bake you know nine to twelve minutes. Every oven is going to be completely different. Mine bakes really slow, so I need a little extra time. But sometimes, you know, it'll cook faster. Just pay attention. You know, once they start to brown, they're done. <laughs> it gets me every time. I know it's coming, but I still flinch when it pops. <laughs> All right, just get out your, your dough. Alright, and crescent rolls, if you've never used them before, one, they're delicious. We had some for dinner last night with potato soup, but they're little triangles. So just open it up and get your little triangles out. And you know what? You know what? I may be able to cut these in half because normally I use one on a hot dog. Well, I cut my hot dog in half. So. I'm gonna carefully cut on my counter real quick. <laughs> I don't recommend cutting on your countertop, but you know. So I cut one. So I took one triangle and I cut it in half. And what you do is you take your hot dog, you line it up, you just lay it on here, and you just roll it up. <laughs> and this is what my mom called a pig in a blanket. But we're gonna do it as dead man's toes. So like I said, Cut yours in half, take your little hot dog, just wrap it up, wrap it around it. Okay, it's gonna look just like that. And I tell you what, by cutting this in half, you're gonna get a lot more out of it. Once again, I gotta carefully cut on my countertop. My husband would freak out if he saw me doing that. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, <laughs> just keep on wrapping them up. And this is another thing that is fun to do with kids. You know, they can wrap up. You know, they can wrap them up for you. I know my kids always love to help. And then they become teenagers. But <laughs> so I got that. All right. all right. I'm not gonna do all of them. I still have this other row I didn't even touch yet. And I still have four hot dogs. So like I said, I can make a lot more, but we'll just kind of go with this for now. All right. I don't have the prettiest baking sheets, so I won't show you it. <laughs> but just lay your little, little hot dogs on here. All right, I got them laid on here. I'm now gonna stick them in the oven. Like I said, for nine to 12 minutes, I'm just gonna kinda monitor it, because my oven cooks slow. Oh my gosh, y'all. All right, look how good these look. 
They are so good. Seriously, and I'm hungry. I have not eaten all day long, so I cannot wait to eat some of these when we're done. But look, look at the little... So for my oven, it took about 15 minutes. Like I said, every oven cooks differently. Mine just is a little bit slow. So 15 minutes at 350 for my oven. But you see, they got like golden brown. See how golden brown it is? The bottom is nice and toasty. I love it. Now, what you can do is, so Dollar Tree sells a four pack of these little like cauldron looking bowls. Like I said, you get four for $1.25. And look how cute and perfect it is. This one says, Happy Halloween. It's got little bats and stars on it. So I'm gonna use this for ketchup and mustard. And what you do is, you know, <laughs> really, if you're eating it, you're just gonna put some ketchup and mustard on your plate. But you know, when you're trying to do like a party or if you're having people over, you know, presentation is everything. So just take your little bowls and empty it and put just some ketchup and mustard in them. All right, so I got my mustard in one, and now I'm just gonna put a bunch of ketchup into this one. And like I said, I'm gonna eat this for lunch, and then when Presley and Riley get home today, they'll I'll make even more, and they'll have it too. Okay, but look, <laughs> but look how festive. Like I said, my ketchup and mustard in these cute little cauldrons, and we're gonna like do like a little decorating too when we're done with all this. Hopefully, hopefully it'll look right. But got this right here. All right, I have another idea. I have never made this before. Like I said, the um, the dead man's toes or pigs, pigs in a blanket. I grew up on those. Like we always made those right there. But so if you are familiar with um, Universal Studios, they do like the big Halloween scare. Well, right now they're doing these little like skeleton mummy little pizzas. So Dollar Tree sells these little um, little baking tins and they have like, it can either be a skeleton, a mummy, Frankenstein, it could be Billy Butcherson. But we're gonna try to make some little mini pizzas like they're selling at Universal Studios. So I'm gonna have this. So I'm gonna try this right here. They also, if you don't like this, it also comes in pumpkins. So Dollar Tree also has like pumpkins and gourds. And that's what that looks like. So what I have is, I know we're gonna need some um, like cooking spray. I got some pizza crust right here. And um, this is refrigerated. I got some pizza sauce. I got some mozzarella cheese. It might have like some provolone in it because they were out of mozzarella. So I got this. And then some pepperonis. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna adjust you and we're gonna try to make these and see if they turn out right. So I'm hoping, I'm very hopeful for these. I just don't know with this Dollar Tree pan how well it's gonna do. So, okay. All right, so obviously wash it really good first. And I'm just gonna take some Pam, or <laughs> I got some Walmart. Um, cooking spray and I am just going to coat this in cooking spray all right okay so I just sprayed that really good and I may have probably did too much but I don't want it to stick all right now we got that now let's try I have never used this stuff before either so it's new for all of us. All right, what's the instructions? 425, which I already got my oven preheating. Um, and this says, all right, this is anywhere from nine to 16 minutes. It just depends on what you're doing. So like I said, with my oven, I just have to kind of watch it. All right, let's get this opened up. All right, I gotta scare myself. All right, what is this? Oh, all right, it is just a big, oh man. Yeah, that's just a big row. All right, I'm gonna need a, a cutting board or something really quick. Nope, parchment paper. I'm gonna use parchment paper on mine. <laughs> Pick this up. All right, yeah, I wasn't, like I said, I've never done this before. So let's see what we can come up with here. I guess I need to like roll it out a little bit. Can 
to get it nice and thin. All right. So this is like me learning with you. So I'm just going to cut out, I guess kind of like a thin strip. Use my pizza cutter. Just kind of like cut out a few strips and kind of go from there. All right, let's practice. So I'm going to take one of these. All right, I'm going to take my little sheet here. I'm going to lay. Let's see, I'm gonna try to push that down in there. All right, I'm trying to like push that lid down in there, kind of spread out my dough a little bit. Kind of make sure it gets down in there for I guess for like that face shape maybe. Um all right, I'm gonna do a little bit of the pizza dough. Stick it right down inside there. Like that. I'm gonna take some of this mozzarella cheese. I don't even know how much to put in here. <laughs> All right, and then a couple pepperonis. Um, let's try three, we'll do three pepperonis. All right, now I'm going to like, I think I cut this too long. All right, I'm gonna rip some of that off. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's do that. Kind of throw that over. Okay, I'm going to rip that off. And then that way I can maybe make me another one. Alright. Got that there. I'm going to try to like push that down in there. Let's try another one. Alright, you know what? Let's just try to make these two really quick and see what happens. Because I have no idea what's going to happen. So, alright. We'll see in a few minutes. All right, my little pizzas did not turn out, but I bet you they taste good. So when it cools down, I'm gonna try one. <laughs> but I really do think, I think it's there. Um, the dough that I bought, I don't recommend that dough. And y'all, seriously, like I said, everything I do, I'm doing pretty much with you right now. So trial and error for when I do make these again on Friday for Hocus Pocus, I'm gonna get a different brand. And maybe one that's already rolled out or something, it's just, it was so thick, and every time I tried to make it thinner, it kept rolling back up. So, but I do think that you could make some really cute. <laughs> I do think that you could make this really cute. Because look, at the face, it's kind of there. You know, um, so we got this, dip in some pizza sauce. It's gonna be delicious. But, all right, so now we also need a drink. I wanted something really festive. So I turned to Pinterest. Um, I kept thinking, okay, we're not really big on lime, so I didn't want any like lime stuff. Um, but we all love cream sickles, like the dream sickle popsicles. So I found a recipe on Pinterest. Um, I'll try to link it down for you, but it's I got it on my phone right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I got a recipe from Pinterest. I just put in cream sickle milkshake. So we're gonna attempt to make this, and I'll put the recipe down in the description for you. But we're gonna use some festive cups. So of course I went to Dollar Tree, and they have the coolest um, glasses, like plastic. But look at this. Look at that beautiful purple, and it's the skeleton hand that's holding it. So um, in the bottom, you can see that. It's like a spider web. So I grabbed the champagne flute in this purple. I got like a wine glass in this like darkish gray. Look how creepy and cool that is. And then I also grabbed um, the stimulus glass in orange just because I wanted you to see the options from Dollar Tree. Look at that. Look at that skeleton hand. I love these. So like I said, I just grabbed one of each so you could see it, but I also have more over there for us for Friday, but I love them. So I'm gonna make these little milkshakes and then we're gonna like decorate them too. So, all right, so I'm gonna go off her recipe, which is two scoops of vanilla ice cream, two scoops of orange sherbet, and three quarters cup of orange soda. So I've got some vanilla ice cream, 
I got some orange sherbet, which this was really hard to find. Um, they were like sold out. This is really popular right now. So some orange sherbet, and I grabbed some orange soda. Now I will say we don't have like a big old blender. We just have like the Nutribullet stuff. So hopefully this is gonna work for me. I may have to make it like two times. I may have to make like a couple of them. All right, I haven't really decorated over here just yet, so kind of ignore what's going on here. I will say my mom loved creamsicles. I think they were called dreamsicles back then. Was it dreamsicle or creamsicle? I don't know, maybe dreamsicle was like the brand or something. But let's do, um, let's do the vanilla first. Because if I get some orange and the vanilla, people around here are going to freak out. So... All right, so I got two scoops of orange, two scoops of vanilla. Now it is three quarters cup of um, orange, whatever brand you buy. So let me measure this out. So I got about three quarters cup right here. All right, and pour that into here. All right, I'm just gonna blend this up really quick. All right. I am so sorry. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> so this is two servings. I mixed up twice. I poured them into our little cups here. Jeez Louise, I am so sorry. Um, now we're gonna take some whipped cream, shake it up really good. <laughs> Y'all, I do whipped cream and Bailey comes running. Hang on, sweet girl. You got some whipped cream? Sit. Stay. Stay. No. Nope. No. Nope. nope. Okay, get it. Good girl. <laughs> Alright, so now I've got these little Halloween sprinkles from Dollar Tree. Let's put some of these. Let's kind of like sprinkle them onto our drink. And then, I have really cute, I have these black and white straws from Walmart. These were like 98 cents at Walmart. All right, let's stick them down in there. Ha <laughs> ha, look how fancy. All right, I gotta take one and taste it really quick. All right, y'all. I am such a kid. I have to taste this. Oh my gosh. It seriously is my childhood right here. That is a dreamsicle. A creamsicle. Whatever you want to call it. My mom would love this. <laughs> um, and I tell you what. Um, if you're having like an adult little party, put you some... Um, Put you a little vodka or something down in here. This would be, <laughs> this would get you into trouble. But man, this is so good. Um, wow. Some oh, some vanilla vodka maybe. Mm. Seriously, some vanilla vodka in here. That would be, <laughs> that would be so good. Since we're right here, I have one little, one other little thing. The kids. <laughs> the kids will love this or you too. I just thought some green jello cups or orange or purple if you can find like something for grape. But I just thought I would take this. I got this because Riley loves the strawberry kiwi. So I know these will get eaten. So I'm just gonna open up this little jello cup. Seriously, put some whipped cream. Running again. <laughs> oh, look at that. Do that right there. And then take some of those sprinkles and just put it on here. Just sprinkle it on there. And just look how festive and cute that is right there. Seriously, so easy. All right, I'm right in front of the kitchen window, so hopefully it's not like too bright and washed out. But another thing is, 
Think about like, just like decorating. Like Dollar Tree, this cute little tray. Look, they have spiders and spider webs. It also comes in purple. I kind of wish I would have bought the purple one since I have so much like black, but I love this. So use this. Walmart for $1.98 had this cauldron. Look at this, like I said, a dollar. You see that price? A dollar ninety-eight at Walmart for this cauldron. What I'm gonna do is because we love like chips and guacamole and salsa, I'm gonna use this right here. I made some guacamole. I'm gonna put guacamole into one of these little cauldrons, and then I have my guacamole in this little cauldron. And look, it kind of looks like like witch's brew or something. <laughs> so. Just have all of this decorated all up and just have like a fun, amazing night watching Hocus Pocus 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like set this up just a little bit just to kind of give you an idea of what you could do with it. Um, and then I'll show you when I'm done. So, okay. Okay, I did like a really quick, like cute little setup and I love this. So what I'll probably end up doing this again Friday and maybe a little bit more because I'm sure I'm going to make a lot more food. But it looks so festive and cute. I'm going to take you down and kind of give you a close-up because I added some Dollar Tree spider rings, like the little purple and orange ones. Um, and just add some little candles here and there. So, like I said, I'm going to take you down, show you everything up close. But I hope this video kind of gave you like a little inspiration because, like I said, I am so excited to watch Hocus Pocus 2. Yeah. So hopefully part two is good. Um, but regardless, I'm excited to watch it, to sit down with some blankets and watch it with, you know, my husband and the kids. So, but all right, um, if you like this video and I gave you some ideas and a little inspiration, make sure that you give me a thumbs up because it lets me know that you like this kind of stuff. You know, because I've got like a lot of fall like recipes and desserts that we could do together. Um, and like I said, I am no cooking channel. You know, I just, I cook for my family. So just kind of give you like maybe a little extra ideas for dinner one night, but, um, and fall desserts. So let me know if you like to see that kind of stuff. But all right, my whipped cream is melting. So I'm gonna take you down, show you everything. And then I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. Make sure get you some cute, little plates. Look at these. Dollar Tree. I love the little witch in the little haunted house. Look how cute. So I've got our little pizzas that kind of turned out. I've got the guacamole in the little cauldron. Tortilla chips in that one. I added one of my leaf garlands. And then, like I said, my whipped cream is melting quick. <laughs> but look, those little rings from Dollar Tree, the spiders, the orange, and the purple, I just added them onto the straws. And this one is like I hooked onto the cup. I put our little spell book that we made, our little witch's hats, our little brooms, and of course our Billy Butcherson's. Um, that's a lot of green. I didn't realize I had so much green. But look how cute this is. I just added a couple little candles, like LED candles. Got one there. And then one over here. And then I've got over here on one of those little plates our little dead man's toes along with the ketchup and mustard in the cauldrons. Um, another thing you could do, so I just got this at um, Dollar General. It was $2. This would be so cute if you write something on here. Yeah, like see, I could put that like right there. I could write like dead man's toes on it, or you write whatever you want on there. But this, <laughs> I, just, I love how this turned out. And it was so easy to do. But seriously, this right here, if you love like the creamsicle, this recipe, I'm gonna put it down for you because it tastes just like you're eating a creamsicle. It's delicious.